Hey Joe, uh, I was just checking those folders out real quick before I unload this trailer. Those are awesome, brother. Okay, I'll do what I can for you. Alright, thank you buddy. They, uh, it looks uh, great. The dirt looks great too. Thank you. This is awesome, Joe. Oh yeah. Alright. No, I, I just wanted to know about the boulders. Oh, I love them. I'll, I'll try to grab as what I can. Alright, yeah. I, I just moved one. A pretty good sized one with my tractor just to see if I could move them. If you can bring the loads like that, I'd love it. Even with a couple of big ones is fine because I can move them later. We'll figure out yeah. a different place to put them. I'll yeah. I'll help you move them if we had to, you know, come down to it or something. No, it's all right. I mean, if you just dump them where my original piles were, I could sort through them and roll the ones that I can roll over there. So right. we'll, we'll figure it out. Good. Thank you, buddy. Good. Looks all great. Right. Thank you, Joe. Bye. Oh yeah. Bye. Gotta remember to thank the people that are helping you. Heck yeah, we can use those boulders. Heck yeah. That will I'll put those on the sides of my new driveway. So this is the dilemma that we're facing right now. That tree right there, which is a ponderosa pine, is directly across from a pole and it's too narrow for the house to go through. So Mark, the COO for Emmert, wanted me to cut one of the eaves off of the house to make it narrower so it could go through there. But we're thinking, that it could go through right here and go through that field and go down and then turn into our house. I think this would just need one limb taken off of it. We need to talk to whoever owns this property and just hopefully they're, they'll work with us. All right, we're gonna go talk to the people that own this property. We'll go through the field over here We'll go over to across from our driveway and see what that looks like, and then we'll go over there. Maybe we shouldn't be driving through there because they harvest this every year. They've been driving a truck here. We need to get over to RSG. Yeah. Follow this trek. Does that trek keep going? I think that's just where they've been bringing stuff in.
I think we have to go around to the back door. You have to go what? This might be open. Last time I had to go around over there. Hello. Hi there. How can I help you? Well, sorry to disturb you, but we uh, own some property right over there that we've been working on for about eight years and we have an opportunity to get a house moved in an actual we just went and talked to the people apparently the mill owns this uh field right here and the house is going to be coming down this highway right in front of the mill and there's no reason why they couldn't take a right right here and go straight across to our property. I think we're those bushes in the middle, right, honey? Yeah. Go straight across, and maybe they'll let me clear those bushes out because they grow this. You don't need them if they go to the left of it. No, they need. They... Because you'll see where you where you All right, we'll go check it out. James getting all excited. <laughs> They gotta go. No, they gotta go. The bush has gotta go. That brush has got to go, but I would rather deal with that than one of those, you know what I mean?
I just got to clear 32 feet of that. That's easy. I can do that with my tractor, no problem. take down those two I gotta move the studa bus and the hop tube this all get cleaned up today he doesn't want that log he said just to push it off in the bush looks like he took down a couple more little ones yeah yes he did got that one we still got to get this one, this one, that's it, we're good. Got to get this one right here. These three, and those right there. And that one right there. Hello? Hello? This is Rick. Yeah, I don't need a, I don't need a loan. I don't need a loan. I, I wish you'd take me off your call list. Yeah. And then they hang up on you. Yeah, you want to loan me money. You love me so much, you want to loan me money. But as soon as I tell you that I don't want your money, you hang up on me. Yeah. There might be a raccoon nest in What's up, buddy? Hey, so I had a question. Um, so Come on over. We're right here. I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you. I'll be there in a second. There is no rest for the wicked. I must be pretty wicked. So, Kyle took down two more trees. Joe brought in another load of dirt. Jamie and I went over and found the number for the owner's of the field across the street from us but right now i've got to get out there and unstack the trucks and then i have to move a whole bunch of boulders and dirt so i better get to moving i don't know where jamie is you get the girl a quad and then you don't see her anymore she's gone she's gone i don't know where she is
hot out today, folks, and I am tired. Remember, I got in at 3 o'clock in the morning last night with those trucks on a trailer after driving 10 hours and rock hounding. <laughs> I did find a cool rock. And, uh, but I got lucky on the unload. Sometimes water is absolutely delicious. Absolutely delicious. sure it's in neutral well it was not in neutral
lot of my viewers aren't old enough and I don't know if they did a remake or not but when I was growing up there was a, a cartoon of Mickey Mouse and I think he was like an apprentice maybe the sorcerer's apprentice or something but the sorcerer went away and had Mickey doing chores and Mickey he, the sorcerer told him not to play around with the magic stuff but Mickey started playing with his wand and his robe and his hat and got the broom to haul some water and the broom kept hauling water until the the castle was overflowing I think Joe's a lot like that broom and the castle's overflowing I gotta get to spreading some of this I'm wore out folks I gotta be honest with you I got in at 3 o'clock last night in the morning had to get up early unload the uh, equipment trailer and, uh, of two trucks and take it back and then I came back and I met with Joe and Kyle the guy that's doing the trees I gotta get to work on this I just gotta go anyway Kyle took down a couple trees I gotta clean that up too I did some bartering America America I did some bartering some more bartering with Joe on dirt and rock and asphalt grindings and I think my old dented up blazer is gonna go to make way for the driveway he assured me that uh, if he could have that blazer I'd have one fine driveway uh, I think I'm gonna park my quad park my quad out here I'll park it in the shade it'll like that all right so I'm gonna go ahead and send McFly up to show you what's out there get an aerial shot of it but I'm not gonna leave them up because it's kind of windy today and uh, then I'll just have the cap cam on on the tractor moving some stuff My goodness folks <laughs> I guess I can't fly McFly around where the bees are uh, looks like he took some stings there's stingers on him and I I saw the bees attacking him in the footage so uh, 
there's another stinger right there yeah he took some hits for the team good boy mcfly i'll be careful not to fly him when the bees are out and about out here i didn't really think about that but i will next time that's how you learn i guess but i will next time i don't want to be chopping up bees sorry victor <laughs> Those were probably the good army bees, too. They were brave to go up against McFly. Holy cow, brave bees. All right, let's jump on the tractor and get some work done. I am running out of energy. Long, long day today, because I didn't get home until three. Then I got up early, unloaded the trailer, got the trailer back to Portland, and, uh, Came back, moved the trucks, uncoupled them, put them away, and then uh, got Joe and Kyle going on their respective projects. And now I'm gonna go try to move some dirt and limbs and some rocks.